Well, you know, people will, you know, reference it because we're from Manchester at the end of the day. I don't think we sound nothing like the fall. Not the Joy Division. So I'll let them carry on. I wouldn't call it depressing at all. I think it's the opposite, really. Um, obviously, with Robert, the way he sings, I think his, his tone and his phrasing, it's not lightweight, is it? You know? And his stance, it's quite intense. But, I mean, it rocks. Confusion, joy, love, hate. It's a cauldron of all kinds of shit that's going on within my life. I've got a million things going on in my brain, like the you know, orchestra. It's safe for me, somewhere to retreat. A support gig for the fall led Manchester producer Chris Nadel to drag legendary Joy Division manager Rob Gretton down to watch the band rehearse. He signed them pretty much on the spot. Gabrielle's wish were finally going somewhere, but his untimely death in 1999 slammed the door shut on the big time. I think that's that's why they carried on really because because he died. You know, it's no you can you can't you can't give up, can you? you can't give up instilled that sense of, of, of self even more in Gab's wish. When Rob died, it, it did affect us, because um, you know, we'd just done an album for him, which was processed, and uh, you know, we'd just done a couple of EPs and touring and blah, blah, blah. So, and then sort of like suddenly everything stopped. And for me, what stopped more was that if I had a problem or anything I wanted to discuss with someone, he wasn't there no more. Yeah, he could be a right bastard with no manners sometimes, but yeah, he, was, he was a very uh, influential character. That's, that's our yes. payment for tonight. Hey, yeah, I'd rather have uh, cash money, <laughs> you know, than cans of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? I don't even like cider. That's fucking well, fucking fear in there. There. more fear in there. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is difficult, yeah, you know, and, it, and it, it's, it becomes an expensive hobby as well, you know, when you're not getting much back. You get a ride off. Yeah, a ride is nice, isn't it? If you get, might get a bit of food to line yeah, the belly. A boiled ham muffin's nice now and then. Boiled ham yeah. muffin, but... Uh, yeah, I think kale's good, isn't it? But, uh, just keep going, isn't it? Just keep keep writing, keep going, you know? I'm not asked to be like, don't get on the fucking old great whistle test or whatever. The music's there, it stands up for itself. I just think if a, if a promoter or someone at a venue shows, uh, you know, some, some kind of uh, appreciation for what you're doing. Yeah. In it's, be it's better than me necking with a promoter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 The latest album, Circa, demonstrates the band's ability to explore new musical horizons, but at its heart lies the classic Gabrielle's Wish sound. It was first heard 14 years ago in that working men's club in East Manchester. How do a bank roll it? Well, I do a lot of nights in Sackville Street. And there's a few post offices in Openshaw. I think Bo's been sm uh, selling small children. I like the anarchy, you know, and I think that's what's important about Manchester music. That's what's important about Gabrielle's Wish. I think that's why Rob Gretton signed him and, you know, and Tony Wilson was about as well. They were about that an anarchy. They loved it. And I love it as well. I think Gab's Wish, that's what they're all about. That's what bands in this country are losing. I felt like jacking it in a million times, but I felt like he'd keep on going for a million times. 
again, you know, it's that conflict all the time. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm pleased with where we're, we're heading, where we're going, what we're doing. It's all moving forward, it's all positive, and, you know, it's a joy rather than it being a heartache.